Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and welcome to part two of installing and setting up Workbench 3.9 onto a compact flashcard. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you create a temporary folder. I called mine Amiga Temp. Uh, and in this temporary folder, this is on your main PC hard drive, um, you're going to have all the stuff in here that you want to copy over to the compact flash card, including any custom graphics. Okay. Other thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have the program Disk Master 2 and its icon in the root directory. It's important that you have this in the root directory. This way when you're in the um, Amiga emulator it will show up and you'll be able to open it up and, and load up the program. Okay. So now what we want to do, we want to lo load up um, the Amiga emulator. Okay. Um, I know before in part one I had the configuration set for a 68040, but I've discovered that everything works a little bit better. It's more compatible if you have the configuration set up for a 68030 instead. So I changed it. But everything else is basically the same. You're, we're using uh, Kickstart 3.1 ROM, um, 2 megabytes of chip memory, and 8 megabytes of fast memory. Okay. Now we'll go here to our CD and hard drives and we're going to select our compact flash card. Okay, generic storage device. That's what we want. We also want to make sure that we check add PC drives at startup. So let's do that. <clears throat> Okay. As you can see, uh, these are my PC drives. Okay. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to load up Disk Master 2 and we want to copy that over to our compact flash card. Okay. Alrighty, we want to copy it over to our programs drawer. Okay, that we made in part one. Alrighty, so now we go over here and we click on parent. And we click on system. Well, my, my um, PC hard drive is named system. Yours may be named something differently. Okay. And we want to copy the Disk Master 2 drawer or folder over. Okay. And the icon. I'm going to copy that over too. So now we have successfully copied over Disk Master 2 to DH0 programs. Okay. 
Now, while we're in Disk Master, um, we want to copy over some custom graphics that we're going to be using uh, to make our Workbench 3.9 look nicer. Okay. Now, any kind of custom graphics that you're going to be using, uh, they should be in the JPEG format. Okay, so now we're done with that. We'll exit out of Disk Master. Okay, now I'm going to hit F12 and I'm going to quit the Amiga emulator and then I'm going to reload it because I no longer need my PC drives. I don't want them to load up and I want to have a fresh start when I load up the emulator. Okay. Okay, we're back to our Workbench 3.9 desktop. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our drawer icons, our drawers here, that they open up full screen when we, you know, when we click on them. And this is important so that when you do open up a drawer, it looks nicer and it's less confusing. Okay. My mouse is acting up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alrighty, we'll come back to Disk Master 2 in, in a moment. But for now, I want to continue um, doing this. Okay. Alrighty.
Alrighty. Now another thing we can do to make Workbench 3.9 look nicer, okay, is we can get rid of the frames around our icons. So you click once and you bring down your menu and you go to information and you go up on top, you right click to bring up this menu and you scroll down and make sure that frameless is checked. And see how it gets rid of the frame? And then you click on save. Okay. You can do the same thing with the RAM disk icon. Now it's not going to stay that way unless unless you replace the default RAM disk icon with this one and that's what we're going to do uh, in a moment. But first we want to make sure that the RAM disk icon comes up the way you want it. So we're going to go ahead and clean up, clean up by column and we want to make sure that the window for the RAM disk comes up the way we want it. Okay, and we're going to snapshot the window and we're going to just make sure that all this is set up the way we want it. All right. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this RAM disk icon always comes up like this when we boot up our Workbench 3.9. So the way you do that is you load up Disk Master, okay, alrighty, and we go to our preps drawer and we go to env archive okay and we go to sys okay and we scroll down <coughs> and you'll see a file called def ram info okay def ram info we want to delete that file that's the default ram disk uh, icon so we want to delete that Okay. Then we want to go over here to our RAM drive. And we want to copy over disk info. Okay. And then we take that disk info. Okay. And we want to rename it. We're renaming it to DEF underline RAM period info. DEF underline RAM period info. And you click on OK. So now every time we boot up our Workbench 3.9, the RAM disk will appear the way we snapshotted it. Okay? So we're done with that. Okay. Another thing we want to do is we can take the frames that are around our drawers and we can also remove those to make it look nicer, make the workbench look nicer.
See how it's starting to look better already? Okay. Alrighty. So the next thing, um, I'm going to go ahead just for the, be on the safe side. I'm going to snapshot the window and snapshot all. Okay, for some reason, I have not figured out how to remove the frames from the default icons of Workbench 3.9. I don't think you can. But luckily, you can replace these icons with your own custom icons. And after doing that, you can remove the frames from the icons and make it look really nice. Okay, but for now, what we're going to do we're going to change our Amy doc down here to make it look better. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the graphic on the drag bar. Okay. You see how it changed it down here? We're also going to change the graphic on the icon area. Mm. See how it looks better? And we're going to save that. Okay, starting to look, you know, really good. Okay, now we're going to load up. We're going to go into preps. And we're going to load up Workbench Pattern, or WB Pattern. Okay. And the first thing we're going to change is the background image of our windows to make that look better. And we're going to select a picture. Okay. And we're going to use the same one that we used for our Amy doc, the icon area, because it looks pretty good around the icons. Okay. And we're going to change this to best. The dither quality and the color quality. And then we're going to click on save. And as you can see, it looks it's starting to look really good. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a nice graphic to the workbench screen. So again, we load up WB Pattern. And make sure we're in our workbench. And you select workbench. And then we select picture. Okay. And I'm going to select gray boing. Okay. And again, we're going to change this to best and best. The dither quality and the color quality. And we're going to save it. Now, believe me when I tell you that you know it looks grainy here because you know, I've got such a small screen here and it's not in, in full resolution, I mean full screen mode. But in full screen mode, High resolution mode, this graphic looks really nice and it doesn't look as grainy. Just trust me on that. And as you can see, I chose colors down here for Amy Doc that look well with this, you know, they look look really good with this background picture. See, it just goes with this. And I kind of like this background because you have this area here for your drives to show up, which is pretty nice, you know. So, but let me show you a different background that, you know, just let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to go back to preps and to WB pattern, workbench, and we're going to change that background picture to sunken ship. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. Now again, it looks grainy because we're in, in a, such a small window and it's low res. But trust me, when this is full screen and much, you know, a little bit higher resolution, it's not grainy. It looks really nice. But what I would recommend doing, if you're going to be using this kind of a texture, that you want to change this, you know, the, the graphics that you use in Amy Doc, to go with the color palette 
that's in your main picture here. I just wanted to show you what that looked like. But we're going to change it back. Okay. We're going to change it back. Okay. Alrighty, it's looking pretty good so far. I mean, a lot better than what it did. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to copy um, Amiga programs over that are in an ADF image file. Okay. Now the program that I'm going to be copying over is Aegis Sonics. But because I'm also going to be copying over at a later time Deluxe Music, and both programs have an instrument drawer that they use and a drawer for their scores, and they're different. You can't get them mixed up. So I think it would be best if each program um, had its own folder. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go into the music drawer this time. Or, you know. Okay. And we're going to create a new folder. <clears throat> and we're going to call it Aegis Sonics. Okay. Now let's go ahead and remove that frame. And we're going to save. All right. <clears throat> so there's the Aegis Sonics drawer. And now we hit the F12 key and we go to our floppy drives. And there's Aegis Sonics. We'll select that ADF. And then click on OK. And it should come up in a moment. And there it is. OK. Now we're going to load up Disk Master. Dismaster is a very important program. You'll be using it quite a bit. I like it better than, than Directory Opus. I think it's faster and it's more direct. I, th I think it's much better than Directory Opus. I've always preferred Dismaster over Directory Opus. Okay, so now we're going to go into DH0 colon, that's our compact flash card. Go into music and Age of Sonics. Okay. Then we go over here. <coughs> to DF0 colon. Okay. So we want to copy over the instruments drawer, the miscellaneous drawer, and the scores drawer. Okay. We also want to copy over copy and cycles. And we want to copy over Sonics and its icon. Okay. Alrighty, let's eject the Age of Sonics disk. We hit F12 <coughs> and we click on eject, then hit OK. I had to take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> my mouth was getting kind of dry. My throat was getting dry. Okay. So we now have Age of Sonics copied over to the Compact Flash card.
Okay. Now, let's see if it works. <clears throat> it should work. There it is. Okay, it works. Okay, so that's Age of Sonics. Let's copy one more program over. Hit F12. And this time we're going to select Deluxe Paint 3. Okay. Now before we do that, like before, I recommend that you create a folder just for Deluxe Paint 3 to keep it separate from your other art programs <coughs> that you'll also be copying over. So, okay, new drawer. Okay, Deluxe Paint 3. All right, we can also get rid of this um, frame. Okay. All righty, so now we'll go to our programs drawer. Load up Disk Master. Okay, and now we go to DF0, and we're going to copy Deluxe Paint 3 over. Okay. So we now have Deluxe Paint 3 copied over. Now if you wanted to, you can have like picture folders in here. Um, and because Deluxe Paint 3 also supports animation, you can also have like an animation drawer in here specifically for the stuff that you create in Deluxe Paint 3. Or you can have pictures folders, I mean picture drawers and animation drawers in the root directory of the art drawer that all of your art programs can use. It's just up to you how you want to organize everything. But I just want to show you how to install or how to copy over, you know, two programs uh, over to your compact flash card. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay. So let's go to our art um, drawer. Okay, Deluxe Paint 3. And we want to. Uh, okay, clean up by column. Okay, clean up by column.
And there it is. Well, will shrink it down a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's make sure the Deluxe Paint 3 loads up. And it does. Look at that. There it is. Deluxe Paint 3. Hit F12. Let's eject that disk. Hit OK. Okay, well, this concludes the second part of this series. Uh, I think I've taught you enough uh, so that you can, you know, continue on your own. Uh, I've, I've taught you the basics of installing and setting up your Workbench 3.9. So you should be able to take over from here and, and just, you know, customize Workbench 3.9 any way you want, you know, and, and copy your programs over. And you can customize your icons and, you know. So anyway, this concludes part two of the installing and setting up Workbench 3.9 onto a compact flash card. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please do so. I think you're really going to enjoy my channel. Um, I have hundreds of more videos that, uh, that are in the works that will be uploaded within the next, well, within the next six months to a year. Um, I plan on having a minimum of 400 videos on my YouTube channel. Most of them will be vintage computer related and video gaming related uh, videos. Uh, and then after that, um, I'm going to be posting at least two videos per week to keep the channel active. So it's going to be a very active channel. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy the content. Okay? Anyway, my name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.